And what hikers, uh, you know, and people in general should know about when you when you walk it onto Earth, like Mungā Budja here, it changes. Um, having different grandparents from uh, many different tribes, my cultural knowledge, uh, my children is quite unique for an Aboriginal person. Um, you know, having grandparents from all the way down Esperance, all the way up to the top of the Kimberleys, through the desert, through the Canning Stock Group, up to Balgo, Halls Creek, Fitzroy Crossing, um, you know, Kununara, Broom, and over to um, you know, Ayers Rock, over to Arata country and Northern Territory. And then the Yidaki, it's Didridu, but family uh, from Yurikala, so up in the northeast um, Gove Peninsula in northeast Arnhem. So we just, it's good to amalgamate everything. And a lot of people always say to me uh, constantly about the fact that they got no culture. And when people say that to me, you know, I take a second look at them and say, are you sure about that? Because my understanding is everybody's got culture. It's not just Aboriginal people. And that's a fact. It's a proven fact that everybody does have culture. And when you walk in country, when I was singing, I was singing about, you know, connecting to country and how um, unique Mother Earth is is that we can be connected and I can sing right here um, and connect somewhere else on earth. And that's the power of um, connecting to country. Is the beauty and the sacredness of it is for all to partake, to find that peace in your life, um, especially for the adults. You know, with the daily grind of um, having everything but not owning it, if you catch my rift, um, working so hard, you know, like finance and all this sort of stuff and paying stuff off, you know, I've done it too. <laughs> but when you walk in the country, you don't think about any of that. You don't think about any of that. No, no, nothing really bothers you and nothing should. You know, in a world that we live in with a lot of um, mental health issues, that we're getting more and more hikers because it's of the spiritual connection and the peace that they find away from distractions of mobile phones and emails and bills and deadlines and all those types of things. So the beauty about um, Aboriginal culture to me, Noongar culture, is that any time that I get sick of that sort of life, I just step out, I step in and I step out. And what I mean by that is that us as human beings, the quicker we realize that there is the physical space that we hear right now physically. But if you tap into that other place that's right next to you, it's all around you. That's the wearing, the British wearing. Nunga Jirpun Kurt Nietzsche Maman wearing Bridia Uja. It means that I want to be connected to country. And so, like what Johnny was saying earlier, that I too, and it's, it's nothing personal against people. But I too, and so do you, whether you admit it or not or know it, that we like to be left alone too, in peace, to find that, where is that? Where does it exist? You know, some people go to their phones, fair enough. Uh, some people go to a book, fair enough. Some people go for a drive, that's okay too. But that's not really spiritually connecting, is what I'm trying to say. So spiritual connecting is about um, you know, spiritual philosophy, my understanding of existence, how I know it. And all of those that came before me, um, where do I stand today with all that knowledge? How can I utilize that in today's society? So as an Aboriginal person, but more importantly, a human being with spiritual strengths and wisdom and philosophy to understand where you stand and why you stand where you stand, where you lay, where you sleep, where you eat, you know, all those things are sacred to you guys as well, not just, you know, our people. And that's the beauty of life. Just keep breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And that's the philosophy of life. That's it. <laughs> there's no big, uh, there's no big um, 
deal about it. It's just quite simply about that. But all I'm saying is that, um, you know, I feel the presence that I'm around people that are a lot wiser to these things anyways. But to look after yourselves and take time out to come out to places like this, they're everywhere. And find your peace um, and take that home with you. So we, we make these traditional sticks in that. So for us, see, that's part of, that's part of being one on country. Because I know that a lot of you have got those aluminium poles, and that sort of is not going to do the job, to be honest. But you get the stick, see, because the stick, every time the stick hits the ground, it's like, doom, 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 doom. And when you're walking in the bush, everything in that bush is going doom, doom, doom with you. The leaves, the trees, the ants, the wildlife, everything in that bush is going doom, doom, doom with you. And so all hearts and everything that is alive, if they have one, is beating with you. And this whole magical place will appear right before you. And that's how you get the true beauty and magic of walking country, is being at one, being at peace, when you walk Mother Earth. It's, uh, you know, when you walk it, you walk it like you love your mother. You respect it, and it'll love you back. And that's the beauty about country all over the world when you walk on it. The ground knows if you're upset or something's bothering you. It knows everything. So if you walk with good steps and pride in your step and strength with every step that you take to your last step, you can tell your grandkids or your kids one day, you know what, I lived a full life. I'm a happy man. I'm an happy woman now. And then you leave whatever greatness you want to the next generation. So basically that's just pretty much encapsulating what Aboriginal culture means. So, sorry about all that, but that's what it means. You know, it's the truth of what culture means. And so, with that being said, uh, like my son always says, uh, we're going to do a little quick dance for you. So this one is the spirit of the land, the spirit dance. Uh -huh. 